centuries ago. Welcome back, my fellow agents. It is I, X7. Once again, your animated master of mayhem. Because yesterday YouTube did not, or today YouTube did not like me using Prince Planet. So eh, we probably won't be doing that unless it's just pictures again. We said, be that as it may. Today, we are going to talk about the young, the Space Sentinels. <laughs> I don't know if they were the greatest, but you got to have a hype man, and Sentinel One certainly was that. So, please like, share, subscribe, vote in the poll, and leave a comment. Uh, YouTube has been very, I mean, I pulled this off right off YouTube, so I'm assuming they allow it. It doesn't seem like they have any problem with this. But even though it's copyright 1977 Filmation Associates, this is the fourth episode. As we're about to find out what it's called here. Or maybe not. I forget that these didn't have titles. It's called The Sorceress. It was indeed broadcast on October 1st, 1977. You can see who it was written by. And it involves, well, someone evil, of course. Coming back to Earth, of course. And we're going to have our regular shenanigans, of course. <laughs> Let's just skip forward a little. What do you mean, play them low? I've been playing them low. And I've lost 28 games in a row. Make that 29, Herc. He's trying to do a little Muhammad Ali. What is it, Sentinel One? All data indicates the entire North Pole has vanished. Vanished? But that's impossible. Billions of tons of snow and ice don't just vanish. It has happened and could throw the Earth out of balance. <laughs> no, it just melts into the ocean and raises everything up. Affirmative. If the situation is as it appears to be. Well, where do we start? How about the scene of the crime? Right. Let's get on it. And... Proceed with caution. Launch. We're just going to skip the launch. Yeah, it looks like it's just a melted bunch of little ice cubes. Uh, I think Marine Boy had an episode quite like this. Yeah, you would not notice this every, I mean, until you've seen the season, if you watched it all, in all of the reruns it had. You mean there's something out there? Something invisible? Probably Magneto. That would be what invisible means. Hey, maybe the pole actually slipped into another dimension. The energy presence does exist, so it is possible. And you, Mercury, may hold the key to this strange mystery. Me? How? Your speed can match the velocity of light itself, which is, in a sense, invisible. Or you could vibrate into another dimension. Too bad he doesn't have a cosmic treadmill. There he goes. Zoom! Oh, just like Superboy used to do in the 50s and 60s when he'd fly into the future, breaking the time barrier until he hit the time trapper's barrier of time. Never quite got that. He is invisible. And lo and behold, 
The case of the vanishing icebergs is solved, except, uh-oh, what's this? Some place this is. Mistress, an intruder has penetrated the dimensional barrier. I think we're about what? to meet. How can that be? The this sorceress. has caused damage to the barrier. It is now unstable. She's wearing the same Mark, colors. Astria, do you read me? Come in. Ever since Mercury vanished, all I did is this static. Same here. Mercury, are you there? Guys, figure it out. They're really nice looking cartoon. I've said that before and I'll probably say it again, but they really went out. I mean, Filmation was firing on all cylinders here. Are known as young Sentinels. We the young protect Sentinels. the Earth using powers that no other humans have, and we... Good Mercury. The three of you will serve my purposes very well. Very well indeed. Sentinel One. Come in, Sentinel One. Yeah, too much static. Discovered what I need in an Earth laboratory. A new invention that will convert any substance into pure energy. Sure. Pure My energy. powers will be unlimited. And you and your friends are going to get it for me. You're out of your mind. Cuckoo. Am I? Watch. <laughs> Is Merc wearing pants? Quick, Merc! Get out from under this thing! No! I can't hold it! Oh, come on! Quit kidding! I'm not kidding! I feel weak! Whatever you're doing! S1! What am I doing here? Oh, dearest Astria. Uh oh. Sentinel One. Dun dun dun. S1, what's happening to you? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you better get him timed it a little better. Dig that swinging filmation music. All systems ready. We can begin the demonstration now, General. Excellent. Let's get on with it. We can feed this energy synthesizer any ordinary material, like a spoonful of sand. And it's converted into electrical energy. This would be really bad. Because people would just use up everything. Although you could use a lot of waste products, I suppose. The results are the very same with water. That would be bad, too. The young sentinel stole the energy synthesizer. Impossible, General. I have been monitoring the North Pole region, and they are still there. Look, I know you're not programmed to lie, Sentinel-1, but that missing synthesizer is highly dangerous. If anyone tries to use it, it may overload, and I'm holding the young sentinels responsible. <laughs> they couldn't could have done it. They sure could have. All scanners, full amplification. Why didn't you just get in the chair? Yeah! There's a signal. Negative. They are made of pure energy, artificial duplicates. There we go. Suspected. Evil duplicates. You always have to have an episode about that somewhere along the way, even with your when you only have thirteen episodes. Although you know some don't do it, but many of them do. Many shows and comic books, of course. Quickly, we must install it. My mind's playing tricks again. That's me. No, they're duplicates, and they've stolen the Dalcron energy synthesizer. We can't let her hook that machine up. At the moment, we don't have any choice. Hurry! I need that power! That's what never going good. On, S1? One? Have you linked up with the supercomputer yet? Affirmative. 
By draining its power, we may give the Sentinels the upper hand. The young Sentinels. She's a pretty well designed, good looking character. Emergency power drain. Oh, look, she's fading out. Is she pure energy? Come on! Dun, dun, dun. Emergency power reserve! No! No, stop! That synthesizer's dangerous. <laughs> Wikipedia says she's an evil sorceress. She's uh, not very ornate in her costume, which is kind of nice. Oh, wow. Some of your distant relatives. <laughs> Hercules? Meet Hercules! Well, theoretically, you could have a fight because they're just energy constructs. They're not people. Hmm. It's starting to overload. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, oh. Hey, this guy's getting stronger by the second. Hey, help. Hang on, Mark. I'm coming. Well done. Use your energy's power against your en enemy's power against him. Like that. The best way to win a fight is to not be in one. Oh. Oh, that's a Jack Kirby inspired creation if I've ever seen one. Done dinosaurs before, or mammoth, something. And why isn't it turning off? That's why the synthesizer won't shut down. As it's predicted, it is out of control. It must be moved clear of the earth immediately. That sounds like my department. I will drain power from supercomputer. Perhaps we can force the sorceress back into her own dimension. I wonder if that is her real form. Power drain. Power drain. You have beaten me this time. But I will return. And we'll be waiting for you. Good thing that they didn't take everyone that was inside. Negative. The energy synthesizer has yet to be disposed of. Okay, Merc. I'll take it from here. I hope he throws it at the sun. I mean, chances of him hitting anything are pretty nil before it blows up. But... Wow, live action explosion. I think Filmation did, was doing uh, Space Academy at the same time, which that looks very much like it seems like it was all a dream now yes a bad dream well for a dream it's awful cold let's go home <laughs> that's it so that was a pretty quick little review i mean the episode's pretty standard although it makes me wonder had there been a second season and filmation did get some second seasons or in the case of Gilligan's Island, they put him on Gilligan's planet, put him in outer space, because that was always the go-to uh, with things like that on occasion. But I would have well, I would have enjoyed, you know, another 13 episodes. They could have done it. You just never know with Saturday morning television. They had so much going on in, in, in 77, you know, uh, um, let's see, Land of the Lost 74, 75, 76. Land of the Lost was off NBC. And, you know, Star Wars had just hit, which is why, of course, they, they're they so-called the Young Sentinels in dialogue, but they were the Space Sentinels, as you saw at the beginning of the show. Which, you know, Space Sentinels is a, has a better ring to it anyway. 
I mean, Young Sentinels is all right, but Heroic Sentinels might have been better. Young is just, they don't even, they look young, but if they're eternal, I wonder if they were asked if uh, they wanted immortality to help mankind, because that could get old in, after a couple of millennia, because, you know, it has to be, Herc's got to be 2,000 years old, I would say. Be that as it may, it's a fun episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is uh, um, X7 signing off until our next adventure.